Hello, you are watching the Unipro Eugene podcast. This video is a brief overview of the Eugene 1.16 new features. We made the data search in Eugene more comfortable. It is possible now to search different kinds of data in your project. Just write a string you want to search for, and it will be found in all places of the project. For example, you can search for a sequence that contains a gene with a special name. Or you can even write nucleotides that a sequence must contain. Several other usability improvements were added to Eugene. First of all, resizing in the sequence view became more flexible. The sequence details are now shown at the center of the window by default. Also, it is possible to resize other subviews inside the sequence view. For example, you can resize the chromatogram view by dragging its border up or down. Second, the workflow designer usability has been improved. If you do not specify a name of an output file, then the name will be generated automatically based on the name of an input file or a data set. Finally, there is one more usability improvement that is worth mentioning. The tool's main menu was reordered and majorly expanded. Some of the menu items now directly open the workflow designer with a workflow that solves the task. For example, let's open a newly added workflow that automates the Sanger sequencing data analysis. Double click on the sample description to load the workflow. A wizard to configure the workflow appears automatically. This particular workflow trims each Sanger red, cutting off ends with bad quality and then aligns them to a reference sequence. Eugene facilities for analysis of next generation sequencing data were also expanded particularly the fast QC tool for quality control of high throughput sequence data was added into Eugene. The tool was added to the raw NGS data analysis workflows as well. Another tool added to the workflows is Cut Adapt for cutting the adapter sequences from the sequencing reads. A tool for analysis of genome variations, SNPF, was embedded into Eugene. It filters input variations and creates a report with the summary statistics about the set of variations. You can use this tool, for example, after running the variant called Workflow in Eugene. A new modification in the Alignment Editor is a new type of highlighting based on the conservation level. If you choose this type of highlighting, then nucleotides or amino acids are highlighted only if their amount in a column is greater than the threshold. Finally, there is a couple of modifications in Eugene for people who consider moving to Eugene from Vector NTI. The Vector NTI sequence format was fully supported in the current Eugene version. The format is similar to GenBank, but has an extended list of feature types. The Create Annotation dialog in Eugene has changed. Particularly, now it has a separate field with a list of feature types. The list of types is extended if the opened file is in the vector NTI format. Thank you for watching the podcast.